in the Adobe Illustrator interface, we have the main menu, which is here. We also have the control strip or the options tab, whatever you want to call it. And we have our tools located here on the left hand side. We have our work area here, and then we have our panels here located on the right hand side. So just real quick, like, just like in Photoshop, we have file where we can create a new document. We can save, close. We can also print, or yeah, print document. And we can do save as. However, though, when we save it as an exported document, like a JPEG or a PNG, we'll have to go to export as opposed to saving as. Anyways, next on the list we have exit, which is which gives us undo, redo, also cut, copy, paste, check spelling, important. There are some additional items here that are specific for Illustrator, but we'll go over those later on. Under view, we also have zoom in, zoom out, all that good stuff. Underneath window gives us access to all of our currently active panels. We can also activate panels should we choose to use any of these other ones here, like we activated the control panel. And we can also reset the work area. See on the workspace, essentials is selected. We can click reselect, or uh, reselect, reset <laughs> essentials, and it'll reset the application to its default setting, which includes getting rid of the controls for whatever reason. So I'm gonna reactivate that. <coughs> Which brings me to the control tab right here. So the control tab is directly linked with the toolbar here. So you click on the tab, like the text tool, and you see you're given the text tool options, shape options there, and a few other things. Zoom tool features, all that good stuff. So the similar tools that we are working with here is uh, this right here, our selection tool, that's like our move tool. We have a I know we went over the pen tool items in the previous chapters, so they have a pen tool there, a type tool there. We also have some shape tools, and we have the rotating tool, the scaling tool. We also have the eyedropper, the gradient tool, and the hand tool, and the zoom tool. We also have two color tabs right here that are used for adjusting colors. Not really your foreground or background, but we'll go over that again later on. Our work area is here currently set up for eight and a half by 11 our document that we created and then of course we have our layers tab which is right here complete with eyeball icon uh, delete selection or delete layer and create new layer so that in a nutshell is pretty much the interface it should be shouldn't be too hard getting into this program because a lot of the features are similar if not identical to photoshop